Hey guys, welcome to 3T Golf. Today we're going to be talking about backyard chipping. All you need to know to improve and keep your neighbors safe. What do we need to get started? Pretty obvious balls, but as you'll see, different ages require different type of balls. These practice balls that fill with air are going to be better suited for the younger player. Second, some form of measurement. If you've got a long tape, use it. We want to know exactly how far we're hitting these balls so when they get on the course they can replicate the distance. It's all about hitting to a distance. And third, obviously a target. This can be anything. A bucket, plant, anything you like. Okay, so we started with the youngest guys and no surprise they wanted to hit a full swing. This is why we're using the airfield balls on the younger guys. Really, all we were trying to reinforce or teach them is that this chip is a half swing, not a full swing. We don't care too much about setup, we're not worried about the actual strike on the ball, we're just trying to teach them to shorten their swing. One of the ways I'm doing this is trying to limit the backswing, so I'm only getting his club to go to 9 o'clock, and then 3 o'clock on the follow through, so literally half a swing. Here I'm trying to get him to watch his hands at these points. We've been doing a lot of work recently where he keeps his eye on the ball, so he's a bit reluctant to watch the hands. But as you can see, towards the end, he's got it. He's got the concept of the half swing. Half swing. Hey! Good over! Awesome! Once we've got the concept of the half swing, we're going to look at how we get a strike on the ball through our setup. There's three main things, pressing the hands forward, weight on the left, and the ball position. Here we're working on pressing the hands forward just to create that little bit of an angle to give that better strike on the ball. If he leans forward on his front foot, in this case his left foot, it will also help with pressing the hands forward to get that better strike. The ball position is really about the lie. So here we're hitting off of a bit of carpet, which is a very tight lie, so the ball position will be towards the back of the stance. But th this can change, as I say, depending on the lie. The key thing I'm telling Ethan here is to move his feet to the ball. One of the things the kids do is they move the ball, they're too lazy to move their feet. Where really on a golf course they need to get used to adjusting their stance to the ball and the lie. So now that we've got the concept of a half swing and we've been through some of the setup, we focus purely on distance. So here we're discussing a shot, whether we want to land some six meters on and then roll it another four meters to the pin. So a total chipping distance of 10 meters. So here really it's uh, visualizing the shot and this is the typical shot that they're going to experience on the course. Um, as I said, it's really purely focused on distance and strike and also letting them experiment a little bit too, just seeing how the club uh, how the ball comes off the club in different situations. So after those few tips we've left Aston to practice for the rest of the day and sure enough with golf as it always is it's about how much effort you put in and about how you understand yourself, your swing and how the ball comes off. So this was the result only after a, an hour or so of practicing for Aston. Remember, just to recap what we did today, we're focused on a reduced swing, in this case a half swing. We then looked at the setup, so where the hands were, where the weight was, and where the ball position was. And then finally, just really free practice, it's just getting a feel for that distance now that we've got that more compact swing. Tell us about your chipping tips below. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And like. Bye! Bye.